My name is Murangam Kumeni and I'm a mechanical engineering student at UCT. I come from a small village in Limpopo and I arrived at UCT to study mechanical engineering, which has been a dream of mine from a very young age. So I'm, I'm really excited actually. I usually wake up at 6 a.m. When, when I'm done with breakfast, I usually catch the UCT shuttle and we head straight to campus. It's, it's, it's a drive and I, I, I get off at the North Jemmy stop and then I head straight to Snape 4B, which is the lecture room for, for my, my maths class. I'm a little bit late today, but I'm pretty sure no one will notice. <laughs> Let's go. It's an amazing class. And that's where I meet with my, with, with my group, which is a group of, of, of five, including myself, and five lovely people. <laughs> Oh! Okay, so we're gonna get some food right now. Uh, the lines are very long, as I said earlier, but this place is the best food on campus, so let's go get it. I normally have my lunch at the cafeteria that's just outside the computer science building. It's usually a Zinger burger and a Red Bull. I'm a, I'm a big Red Bull fan, so <laughs> I need the energy. So yeah, that's why I have my lunch with, with a few friends, of course. And then after that, if I don't have an, an, another class, I just head to the library, uh, do my revision, study if I have to. And one day I'll be graduating here, by the way. It's going to be an, an amazing experience. So yeah, hopefully this is where I'll meet you guys next year. <laughs> I tend to shy away from the main UCT library. I use the one that's been a Snape. And if that one is filled out, I just go to a lecture room and just find space and sit down and study. During my last year, in my, in my, my first year in mechanical engineering, there was this project that we were engaged in, which is, it was really interesting because this, it's, it's a rare thing that we do at UCT and it's been going on apparently for years. But in first years, get a project to work on in my mechanical department. We got to work with engines. We got to do hands-on. Uh, we, we got to see dismantle engines and, and, and look at car parts and, and everything. It was really one of those things that will stick with me forever. <laughs> the balance between uh, my academic life and my normal life, and I would say it is a struggle, it is a struggle, but I've, I've sort of came up with a way to go around it. So I, I go throughout my whole day into 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., just school work, and then after 7 p.m., that's when I can sit down, I can go and play FIFA, I can go and troll. I can, I can do all the stuff. I can do all, everything else that I'm interested in. One of the things I, I'm, I'm good at is art. And when it comes, so I think Mechanical 1008 is drawing, which is mechanical drawing. So I feel like that's the main reason because cause of the drawing part of it, the drawing side of it. I did, a, I did a course last year, which is Mechanical 1007. Uh, and it was pencil drawing. And I have to say, it was one of the things I just loved because it was just drawing and I have that natural thing for drawing. I love soccer. <laughs> I love soccer. Uh, so we have soccer practice Wednesday, Wednesdays and Fridays and matches on Saturdays. Uh, so yeah, it's just uh, a, a rest team, Rochester House, UCT. Uh, we have a team of about 15 players. Every Wednesday we, we gather up half past five, practice until 7 p.m. Then we head back to our rest for supper, which is at 7.30. And then we sit around the table and we laugh after that. The best advice that I would give to any prospective students is to plan out your day and your time and everything. Make sure you have everything planned out. Keep a journal and write down everything that you, every major task, every little detail, micromanage. It's, that makes life way more simpler. It makes things easier if you know what you're going to do next at one time. When you hear people talk about UCT and the way that life is, they tend to say it's hard, it's difficult, it's not easy, passing won't be simple. My message to you is, it's not that difficult if you have everything figured out, planned out, and if you know what you're going to do next. <laughs>